Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Beeline, a professor at Penn State Erie, the Barron College. Here we are on the Barron campus in Erie, Pennsylvania, outside of the Cockle Building. What you are seeing is an interactive classroom experience that is part of our upper level course in Civil War history. Firing a Civil War musket was quite a complicated exercise. There were a number of steps involved in loading and firing the musket. At this particular point, Brian is beginning the process of loading the musket with black powder and the rest of the cartridge. He then has to take a steel ramrod and pack the powder and cartridge into the barrel of the musket. He then replaces the ramrod using only his pinky. The reason for this is because if the gun were to misfire on the battlefield, the soldier would only lose his pinky and would still be able to fire the musket. Brian then pulls the hammer to the half cock position and inserts a percussion cap in preparation of firing the weapon. During the war, a good soldier could load and fire his weapon in 20 seconds. All the while, the opposing army soldiers, sometimes only 50 yards away, were attempting to load their weapons and return fire as well. To imagine performing this complicated task while in harm's way opens up the world of Civil War combat to the 21st century student.